Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. This time it's for delivery on my team. It's been a pretty heavily requested thing. Uh, so first things, as usual, we're going to need to download a few things. All these will be in the description below. Uh, again, if you can donate anything to uh, Petal, that would be amazing. He deserves a lot, uh, given how much work he puts into this. Uh, as usual, download the very bottom one. Either one of the two works, but obviously the latest version will be the best. Uh, just save that anywhere that you can access your desktop preferably as it's a lot easier to access than most things. Second thing we're going to download is WinRAR. You should have this by now. If you're doing modding, you should definitely have this. If not, then make sure to click the download button and once again, hit the second download button and then we can download to that to the desktop as well. And then we'll move on to the third and final thing. Um, sometimes the important thing per se. So we're going to show you an example how to download. In this case, this is the uh, Midland. But if you go straight to Race Department, if you want to find your own one, on the left-hand side, you can see we have Downloads. Then you're going to hit F1 2020, as that's the game we're currently modding. And then to make it a bit easier, go to Skins, and you've got a whole list of things that you can download for my team. Sometimes they're just normal cars. Uh, in this case, uh, you need to create an account for this website. Once you've done that, you can then hit Download, and again, save that to the desktop. And then we can move on with the next portion of things we're going to do once we have all of that organized all nice and orderly so on the left hand side we're going to open up the erp archiver we're going to drag that straight to the desktop plunk it there and then we can delete that we don't need that no more open up WinRAR, just hit yes to this and then install it uh, i'm not going to install it i've got it installed already but just follow that and you'll be fine and third and finally drag the folder for the car files onto your desktop now we don't need that either. That can go in a bin, so can that. So now we have all three files, and um, we're somewhat ready to actually get this uh, mod going. So we can use the Veloce files for now. Uh, we don't need the Midland just yet. It's the exact same premise. Usually about four files is what you need. So let's get into the installation. So once you open up your ELP archiver, the first thing you want to do is go to settings and then find your game directory. Now, most people, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be in your C disk drive unless you've assigned it elsewhere. So usually in program files, uh, sometimes it can differ depending on your system. You want to hit Steam, Steam apps, common, and this has all your games that you have in your Steam library. So then just click on the folder. Uh, you do not need to open it hit select folder and you're good to go in this front so now we're going to need to actually open up the uh the car we're going to do so go to obviously your game 2020 asset groups 2020 vehicle package teams fom car this is where all the my team stuff is saved open this up open up the wep and then open up this file now this is where all the textures are for everything when i mean everything i mean literally everything all of the liveries uh for the multiplayer car for my team all the numbers, everything's condensed into this one folder. So what you're gonna do, in our case, we're gonna wanna do the numbers. So the first number we're gonna wanna do is 22. So as you can see, we're gonna find the 22, which will be in the folder. You're gonna open that up. And now this time you just hit save. That's the point of um, setting the game directory. So that way it's nice and easy to find. Uh, second thing we're gonna do is do our number. So the number's quite tricky. So our number, obviously we know we'll predetermine that by picking that when we start our our career as a driver and um, your teammate you won't really know until you already started my team so the best way to do it is just sleep don't worry about the second driver for now um when you load up in australia for the first time then see what number your teammate has and then import that number the modded number onto that car that's the only way you're gonna be able to do it unfortunately there's no way to do it any other way so next thing we're gonna do is the paint so we're going to use the race net car just because it's the easiest car to do um, and stuff like that. There's no decals in this, unfortunately. Um, they've kind of condensed that down to just the car itself. So any of the logos would usually be in my team. In this case, you will not be able to use any specific logos for that you get in my team unless you have a car with no sponsors on it. In this case, the Veloce one obviously has sponsors with Logitech, um, Playseat and all that. So we're not gonna need to worry about a car that has sponsors. So import that over, again, hit save, and then that's your paint file done. SFC file, they're pretty easy to spot. Usually they're um, the only one that's got like a thumbnail in the folder. I'm gonna import that one in as well. And then that's that done for this folder. So at the very top left, uh, you're gonna wanna hit file and then you're gonna wanna hit save. And hit save again, hit yes and you're good. Now, for my team, you have to do this four more times. So if you, you can see, we've got these four things, my team followed by an engine supplier. So you're gonna wanna repeat the process uh, we just did with the numbers and the paint. You know if you're doing it correctly, because this message will come up, we cannot see a preview of the image. The reason for that is because in this situation, it still thinks that we're using RaceNet. Obviously because we've changed it, 
it hasn't updated so we have to update it manually now this goes as far as to what engine you're using so let's say you're going to pick the ferrari engine right all you need to do is just replace the ferrari one you don't need to do all five um, you only need to do the fom folder car and then also the my team ferrari engine if you're using ferrari same goes for honda or for renault or whatever you're using but if you're like me and like everything to be completely done perfectly you can just spend like an extra five minutes just importing them into the other cars it's really not in the world doesn't take too long uh this isn't sped up in any way this is just me going through the motions um just getting the um all of the cars in as you'd like so we're currently on the honda car uh we're currently uploading the numbers and now before anyone mentioned in the comments yes the file's called 99 but the number's 96. when i was making this i just i just completely had a blonde moment um, given the fact I said a minute ago, I like everything being perfect. The fact that that's not correct is really bugging me. And after this video, after recording this audio, I'm literally going to go and change it to 96 just because now I'm thinking about it is really starting to bug me. But so that's the Honda one done. After the Honda, we've obviously got one more after Mercedes, which is Renault. Um, so yeah, it's really, really easy to do this, guys. Um, some of the cars you may download from Race Department, they may have more than just this, in which case don't really need to worry about it. all you do need to worry about is numbers the paint and the sfc other than that you really don't have to install anything else if there is more stuff like race suits and um you know helmets and stuff like that then by all means um go check out my helmet tutorial on how to install helmets it's relatively straightforward um i might do a video of doing a whole my team package which is obviously you know the car the logos i might do a separate video for the logo um then obviously you know the race suits um including gloves hats boots um, helmets themselves obviously would be included in that that is quite a lengthy kind of um, tutorial on how to do that so maybe over the coming week or so as it's been a while since my last tutorial on how to import car liveries um, I may do it then at some point point. Um, obviously I did put this off a little bit because sometimes it can be a bit of a bit of a pain and I wanted to make sure I had a decent you know my team package I could upload without giving away what I'm doing for my team if that makes sense so um, again it's you don't have to do this process for every single team it's just if you want to it's not going to ruin your game um one thing to note obviously in these situations multiplayer is not possible um due to the fact that the car performance files are mixed in with the car files you'll be editing although you only edit in textures um the game can't quite know that but once you've done that you're gonna hit file save and we're ready to get into the game and have a look so we're gonna start a new career mode just to show you how the uh, process works you're gonna want to select your driver uh team details in this case we're gonna just call it tutorial uh, in fact i spelt tutorial wrong <laughs> first time off uh, but just for argument's sake uh going along here we're gonna pick the best sponsor on the thing i pick ferrari of course as we've referenced that a few times unfortunately uh Ragunathan isn't here which is low-key a bit depressing so we're gonna have to go with uh nikita mazbin and confirm that through then we've got the livery select so you want to go to the end you can see it's already there but we're gonna go create new and then once you've done that you're gonna scroll across until you see your livery you won't be able to miss it it'll be right there all nice shiny looking depending on what one you've got you know you may have a pretty simple one you may even have an empty one so that way the sponsors you get in game then can be on your car obviously in our case um we're not going to worry about that too much so you want to select that and then you'll be good to go again obviously here you can select your badge and your custom badge but again that will probably be definitely in a separate video as well it'll also be included in the my team package video but in terms of getting the my custom team livery you'll be good to go you can see the number 96 on the front and um, then again obviously your teammate will have to come a little bit later on but but here we are as you can see on screen we've got the car in the showroom with the logo in the background like i said and uh, you've got the personnel working on the car um, and it's various bits and bobs it's a very very good livery uh, by my standards at least i'm very have a very high standards of my own work and um, i'm very much happy with how this came out and um you never know again maybe a tutorial down the line of how to make these will come out and again obviously with these race suits and helmets but that's been it for me guys if you've enjoyed please just slap a like on it if it helped you out and i'll see you for some more content soon Bye bye